uh, kikweli mtoto akona taranta uh, sitaki kusema kwamba kulikuwa na upendeleo ama nini chenu ni mtoto akona taranta si yetu waliangalia ni nini waliangalia taranta kwa sababu i'm fully supporting this talent maana najua kuna mahali taranta inaweza kukufikisha hata masomo yawezi so as a parent i'm too supportive na mama yake pia ni very supportive I'm lucky to have such a wonderful wife who is very supportive to my kids also which is a, a blast. So my pastors wakasimama wakaniambia sasa ni siku ya mimi kuamua. Either niamue waniombea ni kufe haraka ili uh, watu wachitokeze wasaidie huyu mtoto hii talanta iendelee ama niamue nipeleke mtoto kwa studio. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to BBS Kenya TV. This is Boy Bit Boy Sena. Nimerudi tena ndani hapata kujua zaidi. Nilikuwa hidi kila siku ya wiki ndio na kuletea vitu ambavyo zimekuwa zikifanya vizuri, yani vitu ambavyo zimekuwa zikitamba nje na ndani. And if you here, kindly subscribe, like, comment and don't forget the notification bell so that when I upload videos, you can be the first person to watch, like, to comment, to share friends and family. So watu wangu wa nguvu, watu wangu wa power na usisahau pale niko na Chi TV so Chi TV pia kwa hapa hivi kwenye kwenye show na hapa hivi unaona watongo wa nguvu watongo wa power niko na babake e chanzo Thomas so utakuwa unapigana nesu ya utakuwa unatuelezea zaidi aswa yeye kama mzazi alifikafikaje hapa kumlea mtoto wake mpaka pale akuje kupata award kutoka kisi mambo vipi poa sana e kwa majina kwa majina naitwa pastor Jared Nyairo Onduso Mm. Jad nimefurahia sana kupatana we na mtoto wako mbaya ni Janzo Thomas. So ningependa tu kidogo uweze kutuelezea kwa ufupi labda sasa wiki wewe sasa aso unafanya nini? Uweze kuelezea wewe unatizama. Ah mimi kwa majina ni Pastor Jared Nyairo Nduso. Mimi ni mchungaji wa kanisa la Nyansa ya BHC Church hapa mchi wa Nyamaje. Behind Nyamaje Boys Secondary School. Asante. Oh, na labda sasa kuna 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 huu mtoto wako tumemuona sana pale kwenye mitandao anafanya vizuri na labda ningependa tu uweze kutuelezea kidogo safari ya huu mtoto yuko kutoka pale alianza hadi hapa amefika zile challenges tu kidogo ambazo umepitia wewe kumrace hadi hapa mali amefika kwa sasa uh, sante sana imekuwa ni swali ambalo ni mzuri kulielezea kitu cha kwanza mtoto ile challenge ambayo nimepitia sana ni kwamba mkiangalia clips zake most of the clips senya zilienda viral alikuwa na perform sana akiwa na uniform na pia akiwa kwa matanga uh, the reason being uh, sina fiombo kwa sababu sina fiombo nina hudumu na kwa kanisa pia sina fiombo so huwa ninatafuta platform mtoto ku perform na kwa sababu ya hiyo kutafuta ikabidi kwamba ile the easiest platform ya kupata ni matanga so hiyo ni one of the challenges kwamba nilikuwa uh, sikuwa na uwezo wa kukuwa na fiombo uh, so nikawa ninatumia matanga sana uh, number two challenge kwamba watu wengi sana uh, wenye wamekuwa wakipromise unapata akiperform hivi kama ni matanga watu wanainuka wanasema gai hapa kuna kipawa wanasema hey mimi nitamu support na nyimbo tatu mimi nitamu support na nyimbo tano akiongea pale matanga akitoka kwa geti ya matanga hiyo story imeisha so juzi juzi mliona pia hata mama county uh, senator Janet uh, Ongera akipromise kwamba atasimamia mambo ya shule atasomesha mtoto for free atamununulia fiombo alipotoka kwa ule mkutano pa akamalizia yale mambo kwa mrango so uh, one of the challenges ambazo nimepata even the aspiring women rep wa Nyamira County uh, um, madam Rebecca Thomas pia alipromise atasimamia yeye kwa upande wa nyimbo na yeye alipotoka kwa ile matanga pop matanga ya mjungaji huko makoli uh, sedekaya na yeye akatoka akatoka akiendanga so nimekuwa nikipata promise mingi sana kutoka kwa watu wengi ambao wako tayari kumsupport lakini wakiongea wakitoka hivi hiyo story inaisha hiyo ni challenge number two kwamba the support ambao watu wengi huwa wana promise most of them never deliver uh, challenge number three ni kwamba most of the people don't think our hii kitu vizuri wanaonanga kwamba itaharibia mtoto masomo uh, sai said as a parent huu mtoto alipoanza uh, mambo ya hii mambo ya uimbaji hata mimi kama msazi sikuwa nataka kwa hivyo nilisimamisha nikakataa uh, kwa miaka nikamkataza from 2016 uh, nikawa ninakataa kwamba sitaki aimbe lakini wakati nilikucha kupata tukiwa na cruised baada ya mchi wa Otanji uh, tulikuwa na mapastors wengi karibu mapastors 10 na 5 mtoto akaomba nafazi akaimba na wakati aliimba 
mapastas wakasimama wakaniambia sasa ni siku ya mimi kuamua aidha niamue waniombea nikufe haraka ili uh, watu wachitokeze wasaidie huyu mtoto hii taranta iendelee ama niamue nipeleke mtoto kwa studio so wakati waliniambia hivyo nikaenda nikafanya uh, kuongea na mwalimu wake akani advise akaniambia kwanza saa hizi kitu ambacho wanatafuta sana ni talents kwa mtaara wa CPC so ndipo sasa nikapepa mtoto nikampeleka kwa studio kwa hivyo most of the people wenye walifanya 844 system hawajawahi amini kwamba kile kitu chenye huyu mtoto anafanya ni kizuri kwa hivyo wanaonanga ni kama ataripika so those are the main challenges ambazo huwa ninapata na pia hata kwa hiyo matanga nimekuambia huwa tunaenda na present akifika mahala pale hivi pap hata saa zingine akianza kuimba hivi unapata mwanaume ameruka amemnyanganya mic so it is not easy lakini i thank god uh, hata kama kuna changamoto bado Mungu amemsaidia sana na mtoto anaendelea kutamba katika YouTube uh, na anaendelea uh, kutamba katika nyimbo zake naona neema ya Mungu sana hata kama kuna challenge kuna wengine wazuri ambao wamezimama pamoja nazi they have supported us and we have seen right in the darkness Yes. Yes, na na mimi naona maana wewe mzazi kama umekubalia kumkum support siku zote hata kama hakuna mtu yote anamsupport lakini kama mzazi yani amejitolea sana ku support mtoto wake ile kitomboa anafanya anajua mtoto wako on the right way. Mm. So na labda kuna hapa hivi ye amekuwa ni, ni ni gospel winner artist of the year 2021 2021 pale hivyo yeah. kisi yeah. yani aswa ni nini ni nini ambao waliangalia sana wakasema huyo sasa ndio anafaa kuwa ye ndio achukue hiyo kikombe uh, nataka kusema hivi uh, kikweli mtoto ako na taranta uh, sitaki kusema kwamba kulikuwa na upendeleo ama nini chenu ni mtoto ako na taranta si yetu waliangalia ni nini waliangalia taranta kwa sababu kama ni mambo na mambo na uimbaji wengi wameimba yenyewe lakini huyu mtoto ako na kipali chake ambacho kina utofauti wake kwa hivyo i believe waliangalia ile taranta yenye huyu mtoto ako nayo ndio wakampatia ile award so currently is the holder uh, of gusi gospel artist award 2021 so Mungu amemsaidia sana kwa sababu yenyewe amempea taranta. Mm-hmm. Na abda hapa sasa kwenye amefika kuna wale wasanii wao wanajitokelezea wanasema nataka nifanye naye kazi. Labda kuna msanii ametoka anataka kufanya naye kazi. Uh, kuna wazania ambao wamejitokeza wameitisha korabos na wengi wao i can see Mungu amewasaidia wameinuka inuka na wengine wenye wachafanya na yeye bado wengi sana wanaendelea kuuliza hizo korabos amoga na izi kwamba within the hii kizo a uh, nione kwamba amefanya korabo kama tatu already amefanya na Chofrey Magembe uh, pia amefanya na Omwana Sheira from Kisi so also a, a young upcoming artist uh, na pia amefanya na Mwalimu Karazi amefanya naye uh, bwana tu kuhitaji hiyo mpaka imekuwa shoot na mpaka iko kwa YouTube uh, na pia walifanya korabo na mama yake na mimi pia tumefanya na yeye korabo na kuna brother yake anaitwa Sudi David pia wamefanya korabo kuna kijana mwenye anamfuata mara ya pili mm-hmm. so gospel artist ambaye ni powerful ni vile asichamtoa public sana mm-hmm. uh, lakini is very powerful wametoa wimbo uh, bwana ni mchungaji mm-hmm. so i really appreciate kwamba kuna wengine wanaendelea kujitokeza mm-hmm. e... na, na tukimalizia malizia labda wewe sasa kama mzazi una mpango gani na mtoto Janso Thomas una, una, una mpango gani sasa so unataka afikie lengo gani kama yeye mzazi kwa sasa Uh, kama kawaida msasi anatakanga kuona kirere uh, kwa sababu yenyewe taranta yako nayo nami ndani yangu nimejitolea kwamba uh, kwa uwezo wenye nitakuwa nao ninataka inuke kabisa that is why hata tumepatana na wewe as a content creator uh, ili uweke kwa youtube yako ili wengi wamjue mtoto aendelee kutamba mimi kama mzazi i'm fully supporting this talent maana najua kuna mahali taranta inaweza kukufikisha hata masoma yawezi so as a parent i'm too supportive na mama yake pia ni very supportive i'm lucky to have such a wonderful wife who is very supportive to my kids also which is a, a blast so as parents we are free committed already mimi kabla asichaanza kupata as sponsors yoyote niliweza kumtoaesha nyimbo zaidi ya kumi lakini i thank god Uh, ni kama hivi karibuni nimeanza kupata nyimbo zingine nimepata sponsors ambao wamemsupport kwa mambo ya nyimbo. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. Na tukimalizia sasa nataka kuna wale wazazi ambao wanatizama kwa sasa na labda kuna watoto ambao kuna talent lakini wanakaziwa. Mm. Ni nini asone zambia ule mzazi ambao kuna mtoto kuna talent na ataki labda aendelee ama anataka labda anaona akifanya talent ama ni kucheza mpira ama ni kuimba ama ni kuact anaona kama anapoteza muda wake. Yaani anamkazia sana namwambia we soma kwanza hizo mambo zingine utafanya baada. Ni nini asone zambia kwa mzazi kama huyo? Kitu cha kwanza everything as it is on time kama taranta imetokezea kwa mtoto akiwa na miaka mbili accept that maana taranta ni kama mimba ikifika miezi tisa, mimba kukaa kwa tumbo ni kitu kizuri lakini ikifika miezi tisa, ikiendelea kukaa kwa tumbo it becomes a problem sasa inaweza uwa so inamaanisha taranta ikifika wakati wake uzipoitoa sasa italeta negativity haitakuwa kitu kizuri baadaye so immediately you recognize a child as a talent mutoe immediately aanze kufanya ile taranta yake Number two, unaweza somesha mtoto kabisa, umsomeshe, umsomeshe, umsomeshe mpaka akuwe na PhD. Na kumbe Mungu anataka katika maisha yake afauru kupitia kwa taranta. Mimi nataka kuuliza, kwani akina Dennis Yorichi alifika PhD mwaka gani na ile pesa analipwa na taranta ya kucheza mpira? Uh, uh, McDonald Mariga, he is one of the richest guys in Kenya ambao uh, ni taranta ya mpira. Uh, alifika kaka class ngapi hebu ya ndanga mchunguze uh, we also have even the american presidents a more than five of them ambao hawako kanyaga mrango wa university and they were presidents including uh, the prominent ones kwa so inamaanisha kuna kitu ambacho kiko inipon kitu ambacho kiko ndani yako ndicho kinaweza kukufikisha mbali hata kuliko masomo sisemi masomo ni mbaya kuna wengine masomo ndiyo itawapeleka mbali so msiase msiache kusoma lakini nataka kusema hivi mahali taranta inaweza kukufungulia mrango kuna m- kwani haja nikuulize where do you think between mcdonald mariga and the president of kenya who earns better mcdonald mariga mcdonald mariga yeah. na unajua huyo jamaa alifika ngapi umewahi kujunguza ama Dennis Oliya mwaifi alifika ngapi umewejunguza but they are earning better than our president so that is to say taranta ni kitu ya maana hata kuliko kila kitu maana taranta inakuanga ni kitu ambacho Mungu mwenyewe amekupatia na masomo ni kitu mwanadamu anakupatia the wisdom of men and the wisdom of god cannot be comparable so kupalia watoto wenu wa expose taranta yao and you shall be pressed amen So tuangu wa nguvu wa tuangu wa power miss na ingine ya kuadi hapo hivyo labda ningependa sana uweze kupatiana social media pale kwenye wane, ve, kwenye anaweza patikana at least ndio mtu mwenye atakuwa nitizama atafika pale aweze kuwatch zile video ambazo amezifanya pale kwenye YouTube thank you uh, uh, our viewers muingie kwa YouTube ya Chanso Thomas mtoto anaitwa Chanso Thomas uh, muingie kwa YouTube yake mu subscribe you share you like and you keep watching the songs na Mungu atawabariki sana Sawa tuangu wa nguvu wa tuangu wa power nimemalizia hapo kwa siku ya leo tupatane hadi wakati mwingine see you for the next video